So speaking of an online experience, the reign of the bluebird has ended on Twitter. Twitter owner Elon Musk has now changed the iconic logo to X. Musk tweeting, and soon we shall bid adieu to the Twitter brand and gradually all the birds. So I want to bring in the panel here. I don't really know who wants to go first on this one because we all. <laughs> I, I think we do. Don't let her get out of this one. She right. got yeah. out of last yeah. one. Don't let her get away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. You you probably use Twitter quite a lot. <laughs> well, it's interesting. I haven't updated the app on my iPhone, yeah. so I wasn't aware until I logged onto my desktop app this morning for Twitter. I was like, what is this X? It's, <laughs> it's wild because and this obviously comes on the heels of threads being launched. And I think Twitter's got, uh, obviously, it's gotten quite a bit of pushback um, under Elon Musk for some of the changes he's made. There's clearly some differences in the algorithm. And it just, it's as someone who's used the app for 10 years, this just seems like a weird rebranding. I think we're in a weird place with social media. I don't know, you know, whether to post on threads or Twitter. If I post on one, I forget to post on the other. So it's, uh, you know, do, do I think this helps Twitter? No, because we all associate the bird with Twitter. It literally makes sense. I don't know what the sex means. Okay, but you know what? You can't tell me that this isn't totally calculated. Mark, I want to go to you because there's nothing that he does that's by accident or a, an overnight decision. He's, this is a well thought out decision. And he's also got this fascination with the letter X. I, I read that I mean, his first bank that he started, the online bank that eventually became PayPal was x.com, I believe, or xbank.com. Then there's SpaceX, and now there's this. So, I mean, clearly Elon, X marks the spot, buddy. <laughs> I, mean, I hope it works. <laughs> the, the struggles of Twitter uh, point to, and this goes back to our previous guest in the previous discussion, the idea that these are big, powerful companies that have all of these things. I think Elon Musk has made a lot of this up by the seat of his pants oh. as he has gone. I think he's a pretty chaotic individual. Maybe good things have come out of that over time. But that attorney, and I hate to go back to it, but it, it's the First Amendment, mm -hmm. not Section 230, that allows these companies to do what they do. If we sue them for uh, putting that content out there, do we sue McDonald's because of the way that obesity affects schools and affects school districts about the kids and the health problems that they have? Who else do we sue because of the problems that happen from overall cultural decay? We are experiencing problems with raising children. Families are in crisis. Schools are having problems. All of this is true. The idea that a class action lawsuit is going to solve this problem is so preposterous to me and that this, I just, we have overstated the power and importance of these tech companies and under understated the importance and power of parents and families and communities in looking after each other and their kids. You know what? I think you need to post that on X. I will. I'll exit. I'll exit right after this. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.